what I, I'm trying to do this afternoon is just to at least demystify some of the issues around privacy and data protection in the context of blockchain. And one of the key questions that, uh, that always emerges is, do we even need to worry about data protection or, or privacy in the context of blockchain? Are we even talking about personal data, which is what is regulated by data protection? And the answer is yes, there is an impact because the information that is generated and the information that is retained and the fact that ultimately you are always going to try to deal with someone, with an individual, and the information out there can be linked to an individual who will be singled out from another person doing all the transactions means that that information is indeed personal data. And you may say, but it is the level of encryption and, and the level of uh, security and the way in which information is harsh is such that no one can be identified. So the answer to that is, that's great. That is a very powerful security measure and that in itself may make more blockchain a, an advisable mechanism, if you want, for transactions. But that does not mean that it reduces that information to something that is no longer personal data. The fact that information is encrypted does not deprive that information from its nature and from its features as personal information. So in that context, this is an area that, of course, we need to think about we need to be alert to. And as part of this very, very, very brief presentation, some of the highlights that I think are relevant to, to, to appreciate are the, the fact that data protection is, of course, is a complex piece of, le piece of legislation or le legislative framework that deals with a number of things like rights for individuals and obligations on organizations, and they all apply here. When we're talking about, for example, the way in which the new GDPR is providing individuals with a much greater level of control over their personal data, what that translates to in the context of technologies like blockchain is that you're going to have to think about how do you comply, how do you honor those rights of individuals. Individuals who may say, I want to see what data you have about me. I want you to delete that information that relates to me. And uh, how, how can you make that compatible with this type of technology and this type of way of communicating and, and, and sharing information in particular? So that's an aspect that the, 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 the sort of rights of individual aspect is a practical element to, to, to think about. There are all other more philosophical elements about data protection that nonetheless are, are, are of great practical significance. The, the law introduces this concept of data minimization, the idea being that if you are transacting, if you are doing anything that involves collecting and using personal information, you should only have as little as you need. Is blockchain compatible with that notion, with that concept. It is debatable. But of course, the question is how do you argue in practice that, of course, that technology you're using that in order to, to transact is necessary and the information that may exist about individuals is indeed necessary for the transaction and the, the technology to work. You could say, well, but that what if we are outside Europe? What if we are operating in a, in a slightly different environment? The world is very large. It is an ambitious objective of the European Union to ensure that data protection law in Europe is exported to the rest of the world. So the concepts about personal data, about data security measures, about the rights of individuals will affect throughout the world. It doesn't matter whether a company or a party to a transaction is based outside the EU. And my final point is that, to, to end on a positive note, is that blockchain, if there is you know, one of the multiple features of the technology, is the way in which information is secure 
the way in which information, by the very nature of, of, of the distributed nature of, of blockchain, is in fact protected. And encryption is there to serve that purpose. And that is one of the aspects which data protection is seeking to achieve. So no doubt technology will evolve. No doubt technology will evolve much faster than the law. But as that technology evolves, we need to think about how the new framework dealing with information and personal data in Europe is applied and compatible with our uses of technology. Thank you.